Vacuum brain. I don't have the right hooks for this place. Hey everybody, how we doing? This is a little distracting. Outdoors with Justin. That's my name too, dude. That's lit. <laughs> oh, my fish escaped. I didn't pay attention. How is everybody? We got BB, we got Open Road, we got Vacuum Brain, and I can't really, um, I don't know the way, I don't know the pronunciation for ET1, E-Tone. Either way, we got that guy too. Yeah, that's an effect. That's on purpose. <laughs> okay. I used an, an advanced opacity technique and it confused Fish Lady and she came down, asked me if it was on purpose. E-Tone, all right. We got Monk. Ooh, Monk has his first, he's the first ever second level uh, subscriber badge. That's crazy. My hook size is proper. We're going to get one here. We're going to just fish a little bit. We're not going to fish long because we have... We have a docket to adhere to today. But we got to get one or two, you know. It's, it's tradition at this point. Only just figured out how to change our username on YouTube. Honestly, the YouTube, like, account stuff... It's such a mess, especially when you're a creator and you have like three accounts. It gets so murky when it's like, oh, this is your brand account. This is your personal account. Formerly known as Ethan. All right, I'll, I'll keep that in my back pocket for when I want to be um, personal towards you. How's everybody doing? What kind of current events are we struggling with? What's blowing your mind recently? I'll tell you what's blowing my mind. Have y'all ever seen a gummy banana? Look at the size of this. It's about four inches of raw banana power. Face for scale. Ah, fish escaped again. I'm not paying attention. It's too hard to fish and entertain at the same time. <laughs> Struggling with pollen? Yeah, I don't have that problem. Hard part is being under the right name not to confuse people. Yeah, man. This thing's enormous. And it's so banana-y. Y'all ever have a banana runt? It's spot on. That's a spot on runt. Oh, I got one. This is my first uh, time fishing at this particular lake. So, who knows what we got here. What is that? It's only $16. A Crucian carp. 
Looks like a deflated balloon. It kind of, it has a texture of a deflated balloon as well, if I'm being honest. It's pretty good though, honestly. It's like, uh, sort of like a dehydrated mango. Is this a thumbnail? It's really tough. <laughs> All right, one more try. Let's get one more fish, and then we're going straight into the content because we got oh we got some weird games we got to get to. I don't know how this happened, but I'm just kind of screwing around on Steam looking for games that could be like fun content and whatever. I ended up getting a collection of games that are all chicken related. So today's chicken day, and uh. By the end of today, you're going to know what it's like to be a chicken, be it hunted by chickens. Maybe you'll learn the answer to the ancient proverb, what came first. You know what I mean? It's going to be wild. Those powder, those chili powdered mangoes are dope. Dude, I know. At World Market, those are absolutely slapping. Strange booze. Welcome in, buddy. Fish lady, I will send some better weather your way. I wish you could. Honestly, the weather today was amazing. Massachusetts was beautiful today. I loved it. All of my allergy struggling family members, however, did not. I have absolutely no allergies, so I had a great time. Oh, my hook size doesn't match. I gotta switch to a bigger hook. One more fish, just one more. Just one more fish. This one, this hook looks fine. And then we're gonna learn what it, what it means to be an egg. We're all gonna be an egg together. What are you fishing with to catch carp on that game? I only know how to catch fish in real life. Let me show you. I'm using a uh, maggot. I have a maggot on my hook, but also a fly, a maggot and a fly. And they're bobbing at a depth of 120 centimeters. That's what's doing it for me. Dude, Boston had amazing weather today. I wasn't there. I'm a little bit outside of Boston, but yeah, where we were, it was beautiful. We're like, we're like uh, probably around an hour or so away, depending on the time of day. Try, try not to go to Boston too much. Just for the aquarium, we'll go. Or if there's like a weird festival or a show or something, we'll go to the Wilbur now and then. Why did the chicken go to a seance to talk to the other side? That's beautiful. The fish escaped again. I'm not paying attention. I'm gonna be laser focused on this one. We're not gonna lose this one. You know what? This is too much. This is affecting me gastrointestinally immediately. It's too much gummy. It's bloating me up. Too much gummy for one, one bite. Come on, let's get a bite. We gotta get to the content, fish. You're the only one holding us up. Today's chicken game day. All the games are chicken content. Next week, pizza. The theme is pizza. It's all about pizza next week. <laughs> we got a pizza hat on Amazon. We got an Italian mustache on Amazon. We got a high family pizzeria hat. We are pizza out next week. And I'm gonna have my wife get our favorite pizza too. We're just gonna be slamming pizza. This one's a little stronger. This is a bigger fish. Bigger hook, bigger fish. Still not a not a tough fight. It's kind of it's, a, it's gonna be a small one. Yeah, 2.5. Nothing crazy. Mirror carp. 
This be this boy's ugly. Look at the lumps on that, huh? Bindu, welcome in. That's my guy. Bindu's been a a fan of the the sardine world for a long time. Boba Fett chicken. I don't know if I know what you mean by that. <laughs> Yeah, man, there's our there's our mirror carp. I'm just gonna sell it. I feel like forty dollars is better than eight XP. And that was uh, where are we? Saint Zeno's Lakes. The biggest specimen is the mirror carp. So this is actually a small fish lake. Okay, that was the biggest fish this place has to offer. So, eh, whatever. That's a whatever lake. Let's go straight to the content. Let's get out of here. I, I also bought um, DLC for this. I got the Amazon River DLC. But it's one of those ones where you're like on the boat and it's a little complicated. I got to figure out what kind of hooks and bait I need to make it viable at all. So we're going to have to do some research. I picked up a book. I can do all the research I need on here. You know, we got, we can learn what kind of hooks to use, where to use them, what kind of bait. I'm gonna become an expert. I'm gonna have never fished at any of these places in real life and know exactly how to catch fish there. Now, excuse me as I get into costume. Well, if you put some anchovies on that pizza, my wife would not allow it. She would absolutely not allow it. I just realized I'm not doing my audio properly. You're probably getting feedback. I'm supposed to use these so that you don't hear my speakers. Will this work with, with a chicken hat? Yeah, I can hear it. Okay. Here we go, then. The first game... Probably... Of the three, I've tried them already. Of the three, this is probably my favorite game. It's very cool. Very chill. Very uh, low-impact. Easy-peasy vibes. It is... A very simple game. The object is to reach the frying pan. You are an egg in this game. The frying pan is the goal. Every time you bump, you bump, jump, roll, you take little little nicks at your little egg. See, this is me, this egg here. Every time you jump and bump, you take a little bit of damage. And uh, you can you can guess what happens when you take too much damage. So let's try and get to the frying pan. Looks like we're in the bedroom. I don't know why we got eggs in the bedroom. But let's do it. This is called a precision accuracy game. It requires you to have complete accuracy in your movements. Oh no, oh no. Don't crack the egg. <laughs> yeah, I misspelled chicken earlier. And uh, if I could count on anybody to point that out, it was definitely nothing. This, this person leaves sausages out too. Eggs in their bedroom, sausages, cooked sausages just laying out. <laughs> So the egg is not a it's not a circular object. It is it's not even cylindrical. It's sort of an ovular, half ovular, half circular object and it doesn't really roll evenly, you know what I mean? It kind of kind of goes all over. 
you, you might notice I'm already kind of screwed for this run. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're not getting there this time around. We'll try one more time. I think if I take any more damage, it's basically over. Ugh. If I fall again, it's over, I think. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. This is the... Okay, yeah, it's over. This is the big obstacle, the four chairs. Ask Dan about your ability to find typos. He pays you for typos? That is awesome. Dan really thinks of like all the best ways to engage the community. That's so cool. I'm taking so much damage. Here we go, here we go. Let's focus. There we go, there we go. Halfway done. I can see the frying pan from here. The cushioned chair, you take less damage from cushioned items. So you wanna land on the cushioned areas whenever possible. Oh, we're behind, we're under. We're under the stove. Make our way over to the health deposit here. Onto the rug. Up the crates. Onto the table. That's the easy part there. And onto the chairs. Ah. Oh. Reroll. What up, Porter? This makes me think of Humpty Dumpty, which makes me think of Humpty Hump. Right on. Right on, brother. An ellipse. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's well, it's not it's not really an ellipse, right? An egg shape is kind of the combination of an ellipse and a sphere, right? You're liking this game. The games are getting better every week. See ya, Charles the Choo Choo. Yeah, to be honest with you, if we had to take Choo Choo Charles to, to a second uh, se session, I probably just wouldn't have done the second session. I don't know if that's a game that really holds up week after week. Some games, you know, you know, you just gotta call it. If you don't kill it in one one session, you can't wait a whole week to jump back in. Oh, I swear I did this earlier. I nailed this earlier when I was practicing. Believe it or not, I did practice. All right, this is the hard part. We're gonna take it slow. One chair down, two chairs. Find your center and relax, and we failed it. I think I gotta restart. Get the toast, yeah. The thing is with this game is they actually kind of bait you with stuff like the toast. They want you to like get uh, risky and go to like a dangerous area. Like, I'll show you. It's right, See how it's right on the corner? It's almost like it's too risky, you know? I'm just going to fall off. It's almost better to just go by. Oh, there we go. Got it. Good gravy. Good gravy. Also, probably worth noting that we made some pretty wicked margaritas for Mother's Day. Everyone was a little bit tense. You know, it's stressful, everybody's cooking, everybody's taking care of the kids. But as soon as those margaritas hit, it was like, just camaraderie, you know? We gotta, you always gotta have margs ready for any family event. Ugh. Amateur. 
I think I think I only have one more in me on this run. There's like three. There's <laughs> there's so many different stages, and I definitely thought I'd be through the first one by now. <laughs> yeah, man, too many margs. I got too many margs in me. Come on. Oh, this is a mess. This is a mess. My hand's getting stiff already. The pre-game jitters? Yeah, basically. In Star Wars, Family Guy, Boba Fett was a giant chicken. That's true. That's true. I remember that now. Ovioid. Ovoid. That's the shape of an egg. Right on. Ovioid. The shape of the ov ovioid is rather challenging to maneuver. Because it doesn't just roll straight. It's got a kind of a natural uh, a natural pitch to it. Which means precision is inherently challenging. Therein lies the reason to make a game about it. In a way, this is just super monkey ball, right? But it's super monkey egg. Oh, that that arm gets me every time. How many tries till we call it on a stage? We'll do one more beyond this one. And then we'll move on to a different stage. Because there's so many to do. It's like, it would be a shame if I spent the whole time in this one kitchen. Maybe if I was one of those guys that streamed for like eight hours a day, I would just like master this no matter what, but I just don't have that kind of time. Okay, okay, okay. And we're frying. We are frying. I'll take that applause. Thank you. Less than five minutes. Check. Over 50% life? Not so much. Let's see what else we got. We'll go one at a time. Fish lady, time for a shot for, for jabroni? Dude, we don't keep alcohol in the house. Jabroni cannot survive with alcohol in the house. <laughs> Okay. Somebody left their eggs outside. So the eggs are going upstairs. Oh, no way. I was feeling pretty proud about that. This looks easy. I'm making it look easy, but I promise I'm struggling here. Yeah. Yeah, the egg really likes to overshoot itself. You know? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If this is the first obstacle, I don't know about this one. I hope it gets real easy on the on the inside of this building, because... You know what? I'm gonna check around. I'm gonna look around outside. The egg be completely scrambled by the time. <laughs> look at this. I knew it. I knew they were tricking me. I can just go around. I don't need the stairs. I can just go around. Maybe. Maybe not. Looks like maybe there's no way in over here. It's too dark. Can't really tell. Yeah, there's no way in here. Oh, I see. This is a place where you could end up if you fall later on. Let's just do recon. Let's just check around. Fish lady, you have a two-month subscriber badge. That's so cool. You're, I think you're one of like three people that may have that honor. I need to have my, uh, 
my emote artist to make some real subscriber badges. But I don't. I just don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about what it could be, and I'm not quite sure yet. I was thinking a sloth related. Like maybe it's a picture of me for the first month, and by the like 18th month, you're like a full blown sloth. It's like anamorphs. That might be cool. Yeah, no, there's no other way in. It's just the stairs. Well, let's be serious about it. There we go. I just had to focus a little more. I nailed it. That took out half my life, though, all those jumps. Half my life points are gone. So the objective is to get onto the roof, it seems. Let's see. I think the crates are the answer here. This is going to get dicey. This is going to get wild. Yeah, I know, Porter. We'll get there. I, I just got my website back up this week. I spent the week working on that. I don't know when we're going to get Twitch going. I think I have to, like... I have to spend some time just setting up my, like, Twitch account in general. We'll get there. I don't know when, but we'll get there. It's definitely on my to-do list. Ugh. See, I can do this. It's just the fact that I'm taking damage every time I do a jump, you know? Like, I could I could keep doing this all day. But I'm taking so much damage. I'm going to skip the health. I don't want to risk it. I just want to go for the goal. Oh, I, I needed it. <laughs> I needed the health big time. What is that emote? Is that like a... What is that? I like a mermaid with headphones on. You know what? I should get this health. You know, why not? Why, why did I leave it last time? As if I was going to come back and get it. Restart. Restart. <laughs> no worries, Porter. We'll get there. I, I, It's definitely like... It's pretty, pretty far up there on my things I gotta do list. I definitely want to, because I know it'll it'll uh, cast a wider net and, you know... It'll make things more valuable to people. Oh. There we go. Okay. Luckily, the crates are pretty easy. Not a whole lot of danger present in the crates. There's a lot of egg crack action. Oh. Oh. There actually was more danger than I considered. Oh, boy. We might have to call it on this one. This one's pretty tough. Honestly, they're all really tough. <laughs> but there's so much content in this game. I don't want to just, like, spend the whole time messing around with one or two maps, you know? This is something we can revisit infinitely, you know? There's enough content here. We can try egg egg parkour for decades. It's really, um... Uh-oh. BB gifted. Where's the, where's the beans? BB gifted. That should have been the thumbnail. Did I do something great? 
This one could potentially be liver and onions. Let's hope it's cappuccino. Nah, homie. That ain't cappuccino. We're in Liverville. We're in Liverville. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna give myself two more tries on this map. We're gonna try something else. Yeah, I skipped the health. I just felt like I was in the zone too much. I didn't want to mess around. Dude, liver and onion jelly bean. Like, just think about that in your head right now. Think what it would be like to eat a liver and onion jelly bean. Not liver and onions. Don't think about what it's like to eat liver and onions. Think about what it's like to eat a jelly bean that's liver and onions flavored. It's lose-lose, even if you like liver and onions. You don't want that flavor from a bean. You just don't, man. I'm telling you. Oh, am I stuck? Dude, I'm stuck. I can't move. That's that. Yeah, that's that on this map. Let's try the, the, the bedroom. Oh. Quick, give me some gummy banana. It is sweet. It's uh, like... Jelly beans are like inherently sweet because it's it's sugar. So it's weird. It makes, it makes everything weirder. Like imagine you're eating a sugary band-aid. It's like the weirdest thing in the world. Banana. Sour banana gummy brings me right back. This game takes entirely too long to load for this little egg game. Bindu. Bindu's a member. Well, this one's for you, Bindu. Shouts out to Bindu the Ox. If you're in, um... What, what city, Bindu? If you're in Bindu's area, and you want to... And you have, like, a birthday coming up... My dude will host a painting party. And I swear, it looks lit. I, I would do it if I was in the area. This one's either Stink Bug or Toasted Marshmallow. I'll tell you what, the stink bug is too much. Oh no. That's too much. You can't do that. You can't make that. Oh no. I can't believe somebody researched what a stink bug tastes like and figured that out. That's crazy. Food scientists, what is wrong with you? What's up, Tara? Welcome in. We're just we're just pretending to be an egg right now. Today's chicken game day. And step one is to be the egg. Next will be the chicken. After this. Then we'll become the prey. Because chickens gotta eat. Dude, there's like a stink bug problem in my house where like they get into uh, my daughter's room through the window because the window is not like sealed enough we have to get a new window honestly well this was an easy one or maybe I just nailed it first try you know or maybe I'm going to die before I get into the pan oh no I am going to die before I get into the pan oh geez I have like one more try there we go yeah nailed it I gotta get a new window in my daughter's room. 1%. Finish that with 1% life.
my wife, she's putting my daughter to sleep the other day, right? As you do. My daughter's drifting away, you know? She's in dreamland. She just read PJ Masks, five-minute stories for the last hour. She's fast asleep, and my wife notices there's a stink bug in her bed. <laughs> I don't know what, what it is about stink bugs. I don't know why they get in. Like, because to me, it doesn't look like there's enough space in the window. Enough gap. But they squeeze in somehow. It's very strange. You're straight up being ignored? Where were you? Sorry. Don't you owe someone a, be a bean boozle? Do I? Oh, did you resub? Is that what happened? Okay, well, hey, I didn't see a not notification. <laughs> hang on, hang on. This one's for nothing. Nothing is not being ignored. He's the most active member of the community, and he's greatly appreciated. <laughs> and he's either getting a booger or he's getting a juicy pear. Where did I find this game, Tara? Well, as an entertainer, I'm, I've been doing a lot of research to find the weirdest games I can. That's so boogery, right out of the gate. Not that I know what boogers taste like, okay? But if I did know, this is what it would be. And that and that's a booger. How about a Mother's Day freebie bean? Dude, you gotta pay if you want to see a bean. <laughs> New window will give better insulation. I know. We, not only that, but we want to put like a film on the windows because they have like that UV blocking film. Like all the heat in our house comes in from the, oh, from the window. Give me that cleansing banana. Dude, honestly, the banana. Who's in the Boston area? Um, Etone? Etone. On, uh... Where is it? What? Fenio Hall. Etone. Go to Fenio Hall. The ice cream store. No, not ice cream store. The candy store. Right where all the, like, street performers are. That's where I got this. I'm telling you, it's slamming. Just eat it slow. It's a lot of sugar. It creeps up on you quick. You gotta pay to see that bean. That's true. That's that's what's up. Alright, this is the last one. What in the world are you eating? It's a giant... It Well, it was much larger earlier. Uh-oh, are we lagging? My streaming uh, software is lagging big time. Let's go graphics quality medium. That help? Yeah, we're back. This, um, it was about this long. It was like this big. Maybe Fish Lady will bring me the other one so I can show you, but she might be busy. It's a, it's a sour banana, sour banana gummy. You miss Boston? Boston's pretty lit. You're in Dorchester. You're in Dorchester. I packed my car in the garage at Dorchester. I'll be in Boston this summer. I was born and raised in Springfield and moved but I oh we got another jabroni but I've never experienced Boston as an adult it's pretty lit dude if you set up yourself like a show day this is either rotten egg or buttered popcorns for open road it's popcorn thank you brother Uh, 
Oh, oh. We got gummies, boys. <laughs> we got gummies. Look at the size of this. It's a big gummy banana. It's too big, honestly. It shouldn't be this big. But I'm 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 here for it. I'm okay with it. If you set up yourself a nice show day in Boston, you come on a day where somebody's, you know, at the Wilbur that you like, or somebody at somebody's at the Bach, or even just the Blue Man Group. And then you get dinner at like some awesome place. I don't know. There's a lot of like do a little research on your favorite type of food in Boston. You can have a great day. Throw, throw the aquarium in there. Go to Fenuel Hall. Just check out the shops. Whoops. It's great. I wouldn't suggest doing it too much. Because Boston's also nuts with like traffic. And like just to park you're going to spend like $100. If you're, if you're there for more than one day. But we like living close by. How else are you going to get a big old banana if you're not close to Boston? We're we're also into uh, live comedy, and we've seen a couple of really big comedians, like way up front, for like pennies. Like I think forty-seven bucks. We were in the in the closest possible seat with Mike Birbiglia. Mike Birbiglia. Same thing with Todd Barry. Dimitri Martin. Um. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people. Been in Dorchester for only about ten months. Went to Northeastern. So you were living around the campus until about a year after graduation I've got family that went there I went to Berkeley so I'm a big nerd Lizzo blew up your taco spot dude Lizzo, Lizzo broke the rule you never blow up a spot when you have an audience you never say the name of the spot Come on, man. This. What it was the egg shape again? Eloip seal? Come on, man. Just jump straight. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna pivot to be a chicken pretty soon here. Come on. Oh, yeah. We're in the groove. You're a huge Todd Berry fan? He, um, so look, we walked in, it was open seating, right? Open seating, uh, venue. It was a, like, radio hall or something. It's like a local Boston radio station. Uh, no assigned seating. You just go in and sit down. It was my wife's birthday, and we went in. The front row was open. Like, nobody wanted the front row for some reason. Probably because he's, like, notorious for crowd work. So we just go straight up to the front. We're front and center. Like, I'm so close. I can see him, like, shuffling his shoes. Like, he's, he's like, four feet away from me. And he tries to roast us. But all the questions he asked us all had, like, wholesome answers. Like, we didn't have any answers for him that he could, like, play off of. So it was just awkward. <laughs> and it just, it was, like, un obviously talking to him at all in a live setting was like incredible for us but for the show like as a show it was kind of like okay this is kind of falling flat let's move on <laughs> you know <laughs> but it was funny it was it was great for us it was a great um it was a great birthday show for my wife down the groove Take it easy. I'm taking damage. I'm taking chip damage on that groove. I'm gonna take this real slow. Oh! Oh! Restart. What would I rate the banana, Justin? 
honestly, if I was putting it on a sour gummy scale, it's probably a six. I've had sour gummies that I was like crazy about. Like, uh, just your standard sour peach ring. I'm all for. This is just good. It's not great. It's just good. Like, if it was next, to, if it was on the rack next to a bag of sour, uh, octopuses, octopi, if you will, I would go for the octopi, for sure. Vacuum Brain, you've seen a dozen shows at the Middle East in Cambridge. I've never even heard of that. And I'm close. I'm often close. I work near Boston, but I don't live there. So I'm I'm in I'm in the thick of it pretty often. But I've never even heard of the uh, Middle Eastern. The chat on screen lags. Yeah. There's some bug with it. Like the other day, one one of my VODs, it's actually frozen for the whole VOD. I think that's a Streamlab problem. Streamlabs, OBS. I don't, I don't know. I've I've looked into fixing it a little bit. It's got like, it's kind of just a bug, I think. This is the last attempt, and then we're gonna switch games. We're gonna pivot. Or maybe maybe I won't say attempt. Maybe I do wanna actually beat the map, beat the beat the challenge here. Oh dude. It was so close. One more try. Last attempt. Because the third game is about an hour long. You think it's a YouTube thing? That's probably honestly what it is because I don't think people... That's why Ludwig uses Truffle. I Honestly, I'm pretty sure Ludwig uses Truffle because they pay him millions to use it, but <laughs> you're probably right too. It probably is helpful. I, I haven't looked into it. I, I did bookmark it after you shared it. And um, I'll look into it if it actually helps with the chat. I'll see. I'll see what's up about it. But yeah, it is kind of annoying. I think YouTube just needs to catch up, you know. Just because, like, if I was to just stream on Twitch solely, like, I have no audience there, so I'd basically be asking my audience to, like, be Twitch people, even if they aren't now, you know. And honestly, I'm not even a Twitch person. All, all the people I watch on Twitch, I just watch their VODs on YouTube. <laughs> so it'd be like weird to... Um, it'd be weird for me to migrate there without having a YouTube presence as well. Here we go. We're at the... This is the final stretch. Come on. Oh. oh. Okay, we're on the counter. We have we have about two chances to make it into this pan. Let's do it. We can do this. Let's try and do a thumbnail. This could be the thumbnail. Let me get out of the way a little bit. Jump in, and we're going to fry up. Yeah, thumbnail. Streaming sucks so bad on YouTube. Yeah, dude. They, they, um, I mean, it's fine. Since I, since I started here, it's fine. But I do recognize that it's not ideal. I absolutely see the problems with it. I'm a Twitch person, though. You're not the only YouTube streamer I watch, and I hate it, dude. I know. I know. I'll figure it out. The Middle East is a restaurant. 
Solani, what are you doing down here? Yeah, you are. If you can talk to me, you're definitely down here. You're just looking? You're not supposed to be here. Where's Mama? <laughs> Fish lady, where you at? <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm not being silly. You're being silly. You're supposed to be silly? How do I close this game? There we go. We're moving on to the next game. Yeah, dude, I'm busted. Hi. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Let's be a chicken. You want to be a chicken with me? Yeah. Mama, you better come get her. <laughs> I'm a chicken? Yeah. <laughs> Twitch is not the future. I agree, dude. I think everyone's gonna migrate to um to YouTube pretty much. It's okay, buddy. We can play later. See you soon. I really do think YouTube will win in the end. But right now they're they're really uh there's some there's some pretty serious fixes they need to do. Middle East is a great venue. Alright, I'll look into it, guys. I'll I'm I listen. I'm listening to you. Whatever's happened at the Middle East, we're gonna be there. <laughs> YouTube is more abusive to their creators. I don't know, dude. Twitch is taking a uh like a 70% cut now. Twitch streamers are not going to mass migrate. All it takes is big ones like Ludwig. I mean, Lud Lud Ludwig did it. Ninja did it. There's going to be more. It'll keep happening. They're just going to get better. They're going to get better deals as time goes on. Okay, so this game... It's called Last Chick. It's made by the same company as the game we just played. You basically are a chicken. Thanks for coming in, Tara. See you later, dude. Twitch is taking 50% now. They took it back. That's interesting. That's really interesting. So there's zombies in this house, right? And uh, I have to save my baby chicks from them. So you jump up, you grab the chicks... You escort them to safety. Let's go, chickies. All the while, you avoid the zombies. That's two. That's two down. There's 15. Oh, jeez. Pardon me. Can throw eggs to bump them down but it's not it's not a permanent solution they just get right back up there's no chickens in oh yeah there is one got one got them we got them boys is that it is there just one just one in that room all right let's go dude let's go to the cart run chicken Twitch was never taking 70. They were they were saying they were gonna. You made a thousand dollars on a fifteen hundred view video ten years ago. How much am I making now? Dude. Fifty bucks a month? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I uh I have some videos with that many views, but um yeah, it's all about being advertiser friendly now. My my videos that have a lot of views are not advertiser friendly, so they don't make any money. But that's okay. It's all about the memberships, dude. It's all about the uh, the crowdfunding. Come on, chickens! I got two. Taking two more to safety. They can jump pretty well, huh? Come on. There we 
There we go. This is the best I've done. I played this for like an hour earlier just to get the ropes, you know? So I have banked up a bomb, a chicken bomb. I think that kills him. I think he's dead now. Pretty sure he's dead. I don't think we have to worry about that zombie again. Yeah, dude. YouTube monetization. It's all about being ad friendly. Which I am. I've I've uh I've purposefully been swear word free in like all my videos so far. And uh memberships. Memberships do it. This is a great run. Oh, actually, I only have 40 seconds left. Yeah, I'm not going to get all 15 for sure. I think I think I'm I'm out of options. I don't think I can even go to the second floor. I can just get this last one. Which is way better than I did at all earlier. That almost wasn't even like a challenge to get all these. I, I got zero earlier. I kept getting eaten by the dang... The daggum zombie. YouTube is terrible for discoverability. I know. It's real bad. Case in point, I've been working tirelessly <laughs> for like two years and have ob obtained nearly zero audience. Uh. Ah. Wait, it's the same place? That's no fun. The second mission is the same place? Might be a half-baked game. Come on, chickens. Let's go, dudes. Four on one on one run, that's pretty good. Hop in. That's true, Vacuum. I, I did manage to get a, a small, a small dedicated following so far. And it's only gonna get bigger. This next video I'm working on, I haven't talked about it too much. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no. Okay, we got by. The, the zombies can actually eat your chickens if you're not careful. This video I'm working on is, uh, it's really huge because it's going to be like 30 minutes to an hour long. And, uh, it's going to include other creators, whether they like it or not. I have, uh oh, yikes. I have done some, some effort to include some huge creators. And it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be a crazy video. It's gonna be embarrassing. It's gonna have drama. There's ups and downs. Uh, but it's gonna be cool. And I think it's gonna bring in a lot of people once I finish it. And it's gonna kind of usher in a new, a new, uh, a new genre of content for Jabroni. You know, it's gonna. Be, it's not. It's not a review. It's a, uh, it's a journey. It's gonna be wild. Yeah, I think this game is not that great. <laughs> if I'm being, if I'm being honest, this, this one's kind of a miss. I think their last game with the egg is way, 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 way better than this. We bipped him. He's all tangled up in the fan. Oh, I lost a chicken somehow. I'm one chicken down. Oh, oh no. 
No, run, run, run. Life is the ultimate journey. You said it. You said it, dude. YouTube is terrible for discoverability. Look at Twitch. It's impossible over there. It's about cross mingling. Got to do something a bunch on a bunch of platforms. Yeah, I I agree with the cross mingling point. I think it's got to do with like you have to involve yourself in existing communities. Like at this point, like you said on Twitch, discoverability is like impossible because everybody's already got their like path you know everyone's already in the in the zone on their own little little uh interests so in order to put yourself in front of them i think the only thing you can really do is force your way into communities by like being a meme in their community or do, doing something that gets a community to talk about you so that's kind of what i've been doing with this, with this video I'm working on, I made myself a meme in the Wubby community. And it didn't really, I don't know how well it worked. It flopped. <laughs> maybe it flopped, maybe it worked. I got vacuum brain in here at least. <laughs> for better or for worse. A lot of people were not happy with what I pulled in the Wubby community, but a lot of people thought it was the funniest thing they've ever seen. Let's be totally honest with ourselves. That game was whack. That game was was weak. But we have one more game. I'm going to turn off the music for the next game. This is called Chicken Feet. And basically, um, I'm escaping a giant chicken. Vacuum Brain, you're here from Wubby, right? Didn't realize that was an active attempt? Yeah, dude. That was me, like, trying to... Um, that was me trying to stir the pot in an existing community to become a bit of a meme within it. She called out my 10 gift sub. Yeah, but she didn't realize that it was. <laughs> she called me out. She also noticed the sticker on the table, which I sent on a previous P.O. Box stream. But she didn't put three and three together that it was all the same guy. <laughs> so, but I mean, she did better than most. Is this lagging for everyone else, or is, just, is it just me? Wubby doesn't know what's going on, dude. I've uh, I put like like I was very clear about what I sent. I always thought Corey was. And like the last time I sent something too, I put a note. Anyway, he doesn't even read them. Do. He flies through them. I'm sure you've already been informed. He barely Giant retains what's happening. Lots of death. Uh, yeah. Like you don't know how he's going to interpret when problem. you send him something. But I have faith in us. We're going to make a great team. I'm tracking your location. Dude, I'm lagging so bad. So always know where you I don't know if that's. I'm here to help. If that's translating to you guys, I'm now, like. Enjoy the glamour. It's like a. Uh, <laughs> A hey, uh, what, what are those lights? A strobe light. It's like a strobe light in here. This is the best that it'll look. Let's get some lower. We're on epic. Let's go down to high. Let's even go to medium. Like, who are we trying to impress? You know? Is that better? Nah. Uh, yeah, it's okay. That's good. Goober Research Visitor Center. So yeah, right. this game has Our been described as Outlast, Outlast, us. but with a chicken. So uh, find a way to get there, maybe through a vent. Good luck. Use the vent to get to the next area. Requires a screwdriver. Fish lady, um, I got my phone. Text me if it's over. Text me if it's code red and we'll cut the we'll cut the feed. <laughs> Evidently my daughter's being needy because I didn't let her sit with me um enough. So we might be cutting we might be cutting the feed. 
Let's bring this down to medium because I'm still lagging pretty pretty big. There we go. Is that easy peasy? Let's find a screwdriver. Here we go. Screwdriver. I saw it a mile away. So this is, um, yeah, it's called Chicken Feet. And it's Outlast, but with a chicken. So we're going to be uh, running away from a chicken. Hey, I just want to tell you, you got to be very careful here. You oh. really shouldn't underestimate this thing. If you do see the chicken, just run. Dude, this is lagging so bad. Can't reach you. What is going on here? Why would anyone ever buy a 3090 and then not be able to run <laughs> the chicken game? <laughs> Let's go down to 60 FPS. I mean, I can't think of another way to slow things down. Is the chicken game uh, uh, totally, totally too strong? Is this like Crisis? Is this like trying to play Crisis on like a 2008 PC? So if you see the chicken, just run. There's got to be a way to hide. Oh, I just heard it. I heard it. You saw it. I didn't see it. Be very careful. But I did hear it. Make sure you don't let it catch you. Obviously. Time to upgrade to fiber. You're telling me, dude. The infrastructure here is terrible. Um, listen. I know this might seem annoying, but there are three levers down here that you'll need to pull. They'll open the door that's going to let you proceed. Now, I understand how redundant that may seem, but it's all in the name of security. All right. Good luck. I'll talk oh, to you geez. soon. Be careful down there. I hear like a footstep. I hear a chicken footstep. Just Sebastian into the red cell while work continues downstairs. I know he is. I hear a chicken step. Oh, good gravy! Look at the size of that. It doesn't seem to hear me. Found a key. Dude, it's huge. That's the biggest chicken in the world. I didn't know it was so big. <laughs> I um, I don't think I can upgrade to fiber. But I did just buy some new cables. Just so I don't bottleneck my whole network with a bad cable. I have Cat5 cables right now. After, um... If the cables don't boost things... We're going to upgrade uh, the modem. And, uh, oh boy. And there's your uh, uninteresting factoid of the day by Jabroni. Yeah, the chicken got me. I am the prey of the chicken. So now we know what it's like to be an egg. We know what it's like to be a chicken. Now we know what it's like to fear the chicken. And in this way, aren't we all the chicken? You know? Isn't the chicken us at the end? In a way? Oh, oh, oh. oh, come on. I was in. I was totally under. Terabyte service for $70 a month? Yeah, it must be nice. We have a uh, one gig service. One gig for $120 a month because we have Comcast and we are being held hostage by Comcast. Because it's actually all I can get here. There's no, uh, there's no alternative. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're in the vent. We're good. You can peck around all you want, you loser. I think I know what I gotta do. There's a button right there. There's a lever right there. 
That's like mafia pricing. Yeah, dude, it's terrible. And and not only do we pay for, wait, did I say one gig? That that was a lie. <laughs> I made it sound way worse than it actually is. I meant to say. I think we get 900. <laughs> I don't know why I said one. I got confused. We pay for like 900, but we only get like 70. We get about 70 gigs down. Yeah, I definitely... Oh, I definitely... Uh, Mighty Brown Town? No way. We got Brown Town in the house? BB, you, you know Brown Town. <laughs> Spectrum is pretty close to the same. Yeah, I, I think we're getting about 70, 70 down, 20 up for about 120 bucks. Later, Justin. Have a good one, man. Get some get some wicked pulls for me, man. Yo, I can't believe Brown Town's in the house. I don't know what to do. I'm trapped. Does it know I'm here? Is it waiting patiently? Yeah, I think it knows. I think it knows I'm here. Oh boy. We got pink eye going. <laughs> we got pink eye circulating the household. And I'm, I just realized my eye is like too itchy. <laughs> Bro, that's what happens when you have a kid in daycare. Dude, come on. I didn't even... I didn't even make any noise. Oh, we got away. We got away. Been watching the content, trying to get my stuff together. Your content's good, dude. I watch it. I watch your VODs. The thing is, the only thing I did differently that you didn't do was before I started streaming, I did two years of canned fish reviews. That's what you got to do, man. That's the secret. Review canned fish for two years. Then you'll have like 2,000 people. And of those 2,000 people, like six of them will watch your stream. <laughs> That's what you got to do. That's the trick. There was a door somewhere. I'm just gonna look for the door. It was over here. No, not that door. There was a closer door. I got the key for the door, but where's where'd the door go? There it is. You love the Deans? I oh, know, man, people do. It's weird. People people love the Deans. Even people that don't uh, personally eat Deans, they're into the Dean reviews. Problem is, even still, it's not a big, big enough of a demographic. Oh, boy. Speaking of which... I bet you want another Dean review, Porter. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm getting comments. I get comment. That that's the downside. If you start your career reviewing fish, and then you try to do something else, boy, do they let you know. <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of comments where people are like, "What are you doing? I want the fish." <laughs> But, uh, th there's still fish. Fish are always going to be a part of my world. I'm just doing this in addition to fish, you know? Because this is so easy. One of six reporting for duty. <laughs> and I appreciate you, man. All six of you, you guys are important to me. Bring, bring back the 100-year-old egg eating. I, I am going to revisit the century egg at some point. I don't know when, you know, it's kind of something I'm dreading a little bit, obviously. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, get in there, get in there. 
What? This wasn't here earlier. That's crap. They put up obstacles. I'm dreading the century egg again because it was truly disgusting, but it is content, you know. It's solid content. We want the fish. I know. I know. Look. I don't have... Maybe I can show you. <laughs> Maybe I have a camera? No, I don't have a camera to show you right now. But dude, the amount of canned fish in this in this office is absurd. Absurd. I'm just gonna do it. It's gonna it's gonna ruin everything. But I'm just gonna show you. You see down there. You see down there with uh, Andre the Giant. There's lots of fish down there, dude. Lots. And then up there. In here, way more. And then if I put up, if I lift this, whoa, if I zoom back in there, it's not, it's not going to focus. Oh, there we go. You see, there's way more. There's fish content for for years in this house. This camera is not going back to where it's supposed to go. Let's go a little. There we go. Andre is the guardian of the fish. Content for five years. Honestly, since... Si oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Since, um... Since fish doesn't go bad, canned fish doesn't really go bad, it kind of lasts forever. It really is content for just, like, ever. Unintentional Dutch angle and horror ambience. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what, what just occurred. Oh, cool, it gave me a checkpoint. That's actually lit. So I just have to... Dude, I am like, that banana got to me. I am like, I have like heartburn. Like you wouldn't believe right now. Where's the chicken? There it is. We found it. We found the chicken. Let's hide, and then if he goes straight, if he goes straight that way, if he goes this way, I can just run run right by. Oh, it's a shame because your videos are so good. I'm crying, wishing I could find music half as good. I have, I have a secret for you, Brown Town. It's just EpidemicSound.com. It's just uh, it's just stock stock music it's like 15 bucks a month i discovered you through the fish but i'm genuinely into your non-fish content for real thank you because i love fish i love fish content but at heart i'm a variety person i really want to do more stuff like that i literally mentioned mentioned your century egg video to co-workers last week yeah i really i really do need to revisit that because it's like the worst, it's like in 240p, it's like the worst video of all time. <laughs> but it's cool. Let's Dean about it. Jackson Black, that's a new name. You know what? Jackson Black's not a subscriber. I bet if somebody gifted a jelly bean, Jackson Black could uh, be a permanent member. I bet we could swing that. If anyone's got the 299 <laughs> to throw at Jackson Black. Unintentional Dutch angle. Yep, read that one. I think we nailed it. Dude, where am I? I ran too far. This was what Oh, this is where I came in. This is I already opened that door. Did I run right by the goal? I'm gonna get eaten by the chicken trying to find this goal. Here we go. 
We found it. Tums time? It is Tums time. It's genuinely Tums time. We did it. That's level one. one. Oh, BB came through. BB. We can always count on BB. Let's let's see. Oh, Brown Town picked up that one. That's what's up. This is either cappuccino or liver and onions. Brown Town every Sunday at eight. Well, let me not overstate. It's not every Sunday. There's gonna be Sundays where the kids don't let me stream. But here we are. At least on this Sunday. And it's liver and onions again. Not only do I always get liver and onions, but BB, I think you uniquely uh, push me towards liver and All onions right, almost every you time. Made it. Nice job. We're getting closer. Just keep Look going. That grand golden chicken. Let me check my my phone has not blown up. I think maybe my wife has uh, settled the children. I'm going to text. Let me know if I need to shut her down. Because you know what, man? When you have kids, sometimes you got to shut her down. That doesn't work. That button does nothing. There we go. What do we have here? Any quest items? Looks like an elevator. There's the button to it. This is Mrs. Lawrence. A little bit Sebastian's of lore. New teacher. I am here with a progress report. He's coming. Pumpkins. Up. He's improving in practically every way. Reading. Nothing important. Let's just go down the castle elevator here. So that's important. We just learned that the elevator has a pretty considerable delay. Is there a flashlight, maybe? Can someone give me a flashlight or a similar item? All right, we just learned a com we learned a mechanic. Elevators have a delay. And it can give you time to get to it, or it can give you time to be eaten by a chicken. We'll see how it'll play out. Can you jump? Yeah. You can jump. It's the littlest jump in the world. And it's not going to get you up these obstacles. So, um, there's a lot of hiding places here, which pretty much means a chicken is afoot. Almost certainly. According to my map, the exit to this area is locked, and it can't be opened from your current location. Looks like you'll need to get up there, where that blue light Ugh. is. There should be an elevator system that can help you. This is a no-go. Fish lady, if you're still watching. This one, this one was no good. It was like everything you can imagine in a beer. We have red prickly pear, pink guava, raspberry, and lime, smoothie style, sour ale. Usually slushy XXLs from 450 North. These these hit home. These are usually really slapping. But this particular one, it needs to be washed down with a spicy banana. Here we go, I found a secret entrance. It's so dark. And there's no way to change that. I can't even jump this. This is doing nothing. This is just a hiding a hiding spot. 
That's just your standard chicken hiding spot. Oh, wait. That's a mechanic, too. I can close the door behind me to uh, trap the chicken. Or not trap it, but block its... Uh, find a pipe and use it to fix the elevator system. Great. Fetch quest. A dark... You can't even see this. This is just darkness to you. Oh, there's the chicken. Of course. Of course, when I find the objective, the chicken appears. I'm gonna go to my hiding spot. So we're just trying to find some pipes. That's the objective here. Find some pipes, fix the elevator. Go up the elevator, I guess. And this dude's just gonna hang out outside my hiding spot, so... We're just stuck here, I guess. And I'm just taunted by this window that I cannot jump up to. What else is up? <laughs> what can we chat about while this chicken just lingers? <laughs> Who knows, uh, who knows where this is from? This hat, this chicken hat. Cause it's not any ordinary chicken hat, it has, a, it has lore. Does your, don't lose your grip on that spicy banana cause if you do, it's gonna slap your nose. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Good tip. Perhaps there is a pipe within this hidden alcove. Not so lucky. Not so lucky are we. Here we go. Elevator. We're elevating. But why did we elevate? That was a worthless elevation. Chicken hat looks familiar. Well, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, this is the very chicken hat that uh, Venom Snake wore when he uh, defeated the Russian, uh, you know. <laughs> it's from Metal Gear 5. It's from the Phantom Pain. If you die a bunch of times at any point in the game, they will, like, uh, ask you if you want to wear the chicken hat. And if you wear the chicken hat, you have, like, more health, and enemies will miss you when they're shooting and stuff. And it just, it turns it into easy mode. But you have to look like a fool is the only thing. It's like the normal game, except you're a fool. Stop rubbing that eye. Yeah, I kind of... I'm kind of uh, resigning myself to, uh, I'm accepting my fate, basically. Sahelanthropus, yeah, man. You might have to wear the chicken hat to defeat Sahelanthropus. I'm wearing the chicken hat because I can't find the daggum pipes. Yeah, dude, this is one of those games where I'm just going to waste your time looking for something that can't be found. I'm actually pretty good at running away from the chicken at this point. I think I understand its mannerisms. It's kind of like the alien game. What's, uh... Alien Isolation, yeah. It's a little bit like that. A little bit less scary, if I'm honest. I would rather deal with the chicken than, uh... Than an alien. Oh. Where's the pipes, dude? Just tell me where the pipes are. Somebody Google it. <laughs> somebody, somebody point me towards the pipes. I think we're going to find the pipes, and then we're going to move back. We're going to go back to fishing a little bit, and we're going to call it a day. 
because I didn't actually I didn't actually request an extended period <laughs> today. <laughs> Although I may be uh, forcing it with this game. I did it, dude. I just ran right by that chicken. It doesn't know where I am. Dude, where's the pipes? Somebody. Get me the pipes. Are the pipes here? No. No pipes. Is this them? No, nope, that's a door. That's just your standard door. I'm gonna go up this again. I'm gonna jump off onto the thing. Are the pipes here? <laughs> they are not. This is just a hiding spot, I think. Oh, 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 run, 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 run. Sorry, Chicky. You have no power through the slat. Through the slatted fence. Dude, it's not a big place. It's really not. Oh, here we go. Got him. Got the pipes. Ah, I got I got cocky. I felt like I had solved it, you know? I felt like I was uh the chicken whisperer in a way. Man. Chucky the chicken. I don't know. It's not that spooky. It's kind of a it's kind of a boring chicken. It doesn't do anything too wild when it finds you. What does it do when it comes if it comes in here without without worry? If it comes in here without any struggle, what happens? You can just run away, right? Yeah. So now I run to the pipes. I know right where the pipes are. Oh, I already have the pipes. This game has like the weirdest checkpoints. Oh, here's the pipes. The pipes moved. The pipes moved. The pipes moved. What do you want me to do? The pipes moved. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We are gonna nail this chicken to the wall. Here we go, this is the life hack. Because it's gonna head into the barn, yet I am stealthfully creeping around the perimeter of the barn. And now I can secretly obtain the pipes. I'll check the, the usual pipe spots. Come on. They move the pipes. You can't just move the pipes, dude. That's not cool to move the pipes. Oh, it's gonna see me. We gotta find the pipes. We gotta st <laughs> We're starting from square one, finding the pipes. Does anybody see the pipes? How long does it take for this loser to get out of the way so I can find the pipes? Here we go, here we go. We got the pipes. Hey, we got the pipes. We got the pipes over here. Now we get out of here. We get right out of here. And it's home free. We get this chicken. Get a, get going. Get walking. Get walking. Get out of here, loser. Cheep, 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 cheep. 
You put the pipes. Use the elevator system to reach the blue light. Well, if the elevator is not going to go up, I can't help that. I can't do anything about that. Yeah, man. What do I do there? What do I do about that? Elevator takes like a week to activate. Let's just wait it out. Let's wait it out a minute. Here he comes. Here he comes. Go. Oh, there it goes. That's the weirdest timed elevator on Earth. Oh boy, I'm out of I'm out of sprint speed. Screwed. We'll retry that. Run the other way. Listen. Listen. <laughs> listen, we're all just doing it in the heat of the moment here. Oh boy. Yeah. Bad timing. This is starting to be a repeat of Charles the Choo Choo. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty similar. It's more like that, uh, that Vietnamese game we played. Here we go. Here comes the chicken. Actually, it doesn't come till you press the button. That's kind of annoying. Here we go. Here we go. We got this. Go, go, go. Bro, if it's not going to go up, that's setting me up for failure. So what do I gotta do to delay it? I gotta I gotta find a new path. I need a new I need, I gotta go some I gotta go a different way. I don't know. Here we go. Let's get it to ten well, there goes the elevator. Well geez. Am I just boned on that? Yeah, man. This is the weirdest... How do you time this? This is just like... This isn't even like a... It's not even a challenge. It's like finding the weird timing. You gotta wring that chicken's neck. Listen, I don't have that kind of... I don't have that kind of upper body strength. That thing's huge. Come on. No, 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 no! Oh, that was the closest one yet. Just get me. Let me just retry. I think this is the last shot. This is the last shot. This game's whack. We gotta go back to fishing and we gotta wrap this up. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is like, like what's the, okay, I could count the ticks. I could technically count the ticks if I really wanted to know how long it took. Let's count the ticks. Let's count the ticks. It's about, it's about, uh, I counted it about 50 ticks. About 50 ticks. But even then, what do I do with that information? How do I how do I convert 50 ticks to success? Maybe I just gotta be close by 40 ticks, is that what's up? Here we go. I think the chicken's a little bit preoccupied. No, I mean it's if it's gonna camp the elevator. If it's gonna camp, it's over, you know? There's no there's no beating a camper. The camper's gonna get you six times out of out of ten. At least. 
Bro, that one wasn't even fair. It it was it spawned looking at me. Last try. Last try with this whack chicken. I mean, dude. He doesn't spawn until you hit the button. And well, maybe he does spawn. Maybe I'll maybe I'll check. Last try. Listen, this is the real last try. This is the real last try. Yeah, he's already there. I guess technically I could wait a little bit. He's got he's got eagle eyes. This chicken has eagle eyes. I'm really hoping for a scenario where I get on the elevator, it lifts slightly, creates a boundary by lifting that the chicken can then not pass. You know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? I'm hoping to create a hitbox that blocks it out. Keep your eye on the chicken, people. Keep your eye on the chicken. Yeah, there's no way. This is all about timing, and it's like the most annoying... It's the most annoying, like, time trial. This, You know what this reminds me of? The uh, the train mission from San Andreas. It's given me. It's given me. You gotta protect the train, CJ. Vibes. Bro, that was so close. That was the closest one yet. This is the real last one. This is the true last attempt. I'm going to hit the button. I'm going to aggro the chicken. Let's go, doofus. Dude, that's not fair. It spawned too far away. Now the elevator goes up too soon. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. That, that was different. That was a different scenario. Man, come on. This is the real last one. This is the real last one. We're going to get a better chicken spawn this time. Maybe not. Dude, where is it? Let's go. No, it's not happening. I can already feel it. This is all wrong. The timing's all wrong. DH, would would you rather watch a tree grow or a knee grow? I can't believe you just had me say that, dude. You just absolutely played me, homie. That's not cool. <laughs> Bro, you need, you need a flamethrower, roasted chicken. I need anything. I need a hope and a prayer. Uh oh, Mr. Vacuum Brain needs me to eat a bean in his honor. Ah, oh, dude, that was so close. Are you kidding? That was so close. I was like a millisecond behind. This one's for Vacuum Brain. It is either pomegranate or a uh, used bandage. It's pomegranate. Things are looking up. Things are coming up jabroni.
That's delicious. Thanks, vacuum brain. This is it. This is it. Oh my goodness. Good golly, Miss Molly. Great balls of fire. We did it. We did it. What? Ah! That was cool. We did it. We totally did it. What's happening? You aren't who I thought you were. But that doesn't mean you're different. What exactly are your intentions? Are you lost? Are you looking for a way out? Or are you here to hurt me? So the chicken has been the narrator the whole time. You wouldn't want to hurt me, right? <laughs> I want you to stay away. And I really don't think you understand what's going on here. I don't. I was able to break free and escape. None of you humans were strong enough to stop me. Others weren't so lucky. They weren't strong enough. But I saved them. And I killed everyone who got in my way. And I won't stop at you. But for now, I'll give you a chance. Just open that door, and I'll give you your freedom. Now, promise me that you'll leave. Got that? Yeah, I'll leave. Come back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what are you doing? Don't kill yourself yet. Uh, I mean, uh, wait. Wait a minute. How how did you get here? That was weird. From where you were, it should be impossible to This is really strange. That chicken just tried to make me here. hallucinate into suicide. We could work with this. Just hang tight. Oh, and if you find any sort of tape recorder, please do not play it. I think we're at the halfway point. Confidential information. Let's save it. Let's save that for the for the next time. And let's just let's just bring the vibes back. Let's go back to vibe land. We're gonna go back to fishing. We're gonna have our midnight snack. And we're gonna call it a day. Ultimate fishing simulator. New DLC. I know, Porter. I can't I can't go too long. I got kids, man. That chicken used to work at Chick-fil-A. Eat more beef. Know what I'm saying? We're going to come back, though. We're going to beat the chicken game. I don't know when, but we're going to do it. But for right now, we got some Deans. Let's go to Dean land. How do we do, how do we go to Dean land? Oh, the camera is not set up, dude. There we go. Is that working? That's not working. We're going fishing. We're going to Dean land. And we're wrapping it up. Because that's what you do when you're a jabroni. You close every episode. Or maybe sometimes you start it. With a nice tin. Let's cast real quick. Bro, that, that was a sweaty hat. Very sweaty hat. 
Let's get the cast out. Oh, you know what? I might have the wrong hook. This is uh, La Pearly. Sardines. Orange. Orange. Tranché. I'm guessing there's some or orange action in here. Your hook size is proper. Oh, wow. Look at that honker. We got a fish. Let's pull him in. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's strong. He's a big boy. We got a big boy here. We got a big hoss. Gotta bounce. Good night, folks. Good night, vacuum brain. And thanks for thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate you. This bull trout's for you, buddy. We're gonna sell it. We're gonna kill these deans. We're gonna call it a night. Let's get a cast out. These are with orange. Citrus, orange citrus sardines from La Perle. They're really short. Some short boys. It seems like they're cut too short. Like they didn't just cut the head off, they cut a little piece of the torso off with it. We got something. You know what? These aren't my thing. That's a big old brown trout. That's a brown trout for brown town. That one's for you, buddy. These uh these aren't these aren't perfect. You can definitely see the orange in there, I think. See that big old orange down there? But they have like a I don't know, maybe it's just a lower quality fish than uh what I would expect from a French brand, but something about it. Let me get one more in. Maybe I can devise a uh, an opinion. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. They're not bad, but it's just like The flavor is good, but the quality of fish seems low. Seems low for what I would expect from any French brand, honestly. Mighty Brown Trout is your new Dean channel. I'm telling you, man. That's how you build an audience. You review sardines. Everyone should do that. We're definitely in brown trout territory here. Or maybe it's my hook size that's doing it. Let's go to the other side of the lake. Yeah, you know, these sardines... You know they're not amazing because the most, excited, the most exciting part of them is the orange. I can't wait to eat the orange. I mean they're good. Don't get me don't get me wrong. 
They're perfectly good. But I just prefer a, a firmer fish, I think. They're a little bit loose. Let me get the music going. There we go. That's the vibes. Gotta remember to turn the music back on when I go back to fishing. That's critical vibes. I'm gonna eat it. Hang on there, open road. I'm gonna eat the orange slice. Don't you worry. This is immaculate vibes. Lo-fi hip hop, sardines, an ultimate fishing simulator. I don't know how you beat this. This combo is unbeatable. This guy's on the smaller side. That was a little bit too easy. Oh, that's the littlest little guy I've ever gotten. He's almost valueless. Let's go up a notch. I think my hook could be a little bigger. Yeah, we gotta go bigger on the hook. Let's go for it. This this one's gonna be honking. I can feel it. Yeah, these are stubbies. These are stubby boys. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why they're stubby, but it's a little weird. I don't know what's up with that. Because they don't, they definitely don't have to be that way. I don't know why they did that. Maybe it's because they knew they were going to put an orange in here. So they were like, let's make a little extra room. But I don't know. Seems weird. Seems like a weird move. All right, we went up two hook sizes. So this guy's a bit bigger. I can tell already. He's fighting a little more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Four kilograms. Not not amazing. Let's get some XP out of him. And we just leveled up, too. One more cast. So does Epidemic still try to claim you when you play music and you dispute it, or do they track your account? Um, you, uh, you integrate your account with them. So I've never had it. I never had that out of my 70 videos that have epidemic music. I've never had them claim anything. So maybe, maybe last time you used it, it was before they were doing that, but yeah, it's integrated. So it's totally safe for me. Anyway, I never had that problem. Virgil. What's up, dude? You're so late. We're in the wrap-up phase, brother. I appreciate you anyway for stopping in. Welcome in, man. This banana goes out to Virgil. This, this uh, sour banana. That's for you, buddy. This is our last fish, and we're wrapping it up. Dude, sardines, man. They weigh heavy on you. Especially when you pair. Oh, I broke the line. 
That was going to be a good one. That was going to be huge. Especially when you pair it with a uh, gummy banana. Not really a pairing I'd recommend. Sardines and gummy bananas, but... Life... Life comes at you in mysterious ways, man. This last fish will mark the end of this stream. And I just want to say, I appreciate you. I love you. You're important to me. Thank you so much for stopping in. It's crazy to me still that anyone would watch me do anything. But to watch me just play terrible Steam games makes you a very special kind of person, and I really appreciate it. And this line is... This fish is too big. I can't get it. Let's start over. Let's start over. And with this last cast, I just want to say, I appreciate you. You guys are watching me just eat a gummy banana? What are you doing? You got nothing to do on a Sunday? You're gonna watch a guy eat a gummy banana? That's all you got? That's all you got is gummy banana guy? I mean, I appreciate it. I love it. I love that you're here with me. But that's all you got? That's all what you got? You're gonna watch me eat a gummy banana? I mean... We didn't even break out the gummy snake. The gummy snake? He's got a gummy snake? You gonna watch me eat a gummy snake? Look at this. Look at the size of this. It's a necklace. It's a gummy snake. You're on a Sunday gonna watch someone eat a gummy snake? That's what you got? On a Sunday? You got the gummy snake guy on your TV? Save it for OnlyFans? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> this is actually good, dude. The gummy snake is lit. E-Tone. Fennial Hall snack store. Treat, uh, candy store. Get the gummy snake, homie. Need some gummy fish. That's what we need. A big old gummy fish. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> We're going to go back to Fennial Hall, fish lady. We're going to get some gummy fish. And that's what you got? That's what you're going to be watching on a Sunday? The guy eating the gummy fish? This thing's huge, bro. It's really good. This is the best gummy thing I've had yet. I'm really into this. I'm going to eat this whole thing. It was very good. It's it's like, there's none of that like sugar on it, but it's like sweeter. It's sweeter than the banana. BB, thanks for stopping in as, as usual, as always. And happy Mother's Day. We're gonna get this one. This one's for BB. We're not letting this one out of our clutches. This one's dedicated to BB. Keep up the great work. It's getting better every week. Thank you. This one's for Open Road as well. It's sugar is the place. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's sugar. I just remembered I got like a toxic waste bucket from there. Oh, you're right, Porter. If this is sugar free, I'll see y'all in about two weeks. I might I might still be pooping my brains out by next Sunday. 
This is honestly amazing, though. I'm getting this again. Fish lady, add this to the shopping list, homie. We're getting... We're getting more big old snakes, for sure. This is the biggest fish I may have ever tried to catch. This has been fighting more than any fish. I have to use the net? That's how you know it's serious. Get out there, net. It doesn't really work. The net's kind of janky. Come on, bring her in. Bring her in, net. There we go. Dude. 8.42 kilogram rainbow trout. That's a new record. And with that, I thank you all for joining me. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you next Sunday. It's all pizza games next Sunday. Today we had all chicken games. It's all pizza next week. Okay, so maybe we'll have pizza gummies. We could be lucky. We could find a pizza gummy. I'll see you then. I love you guys. Is this the button? Here we go. Bye-bye. See you next time.